What is up everybody? Welcome back to the episode of Ford Era. Today we are with my buddy Mike. Mike, what the truck? <laughs> well, it's a 1952 F1 and uh, I had one just like it when I was 14 years old and a few years ago, 12 years ago, I said I, I need another one. I bought it, had a flathead in it, ran it for years, lowered, dropped the axle, and I sold a Cobra kit car I had. I said, I'm gonna make this truck exactly what I want. So, so what exactly did you do, or how, how long was it like with the flathead kind of stock looking? Uh, from 08 till 22. Okay. Okay. So I, I talked to a good friend of mine named Jesse Greening, Greening Auto Company. I said, what's the best chassis I can buy? He said, Roadster Shop, hands down. I said, that's what I want. So he ordered me up a Roadster Shop chassis, and uh, I bought a Gen 3 Coyote Crate engine from uh, Summit. I bought the TKX 5-speed, the whole shebang from uh, American Powertrain. American Powertrain. And uh, so put it all together. You and did I, all the work? I done all the work. So when you when you started doing it, the, uh, the truck was all assembled and... Yeah, it was, I drive it every day. You drive this I've now been every drive, day? I've been driving this truck every day since 2008. Really? With a flathead in it and now with this. How long was it down? How long did the build itself take once uh, you started working on it? About six months. That's not bad. Yep. It took nine months to get the chassis because Roadster Shop was way behind. Yeah. So once, Everybody else wants a good chassis. Yep. So I picked the chassis up uh, January 9th of 22. Okay. Drove up in two degree weather, picked the chassis up, mocked the engine up, mocked up the exhaust, any weld and I didn't have to do much. And then I blew it back apart, had it powder coated, and started assembling it. That's awesome. And I wanted the truck to look exactly like it was when I bought it. It does. Probably a little bit lower, but other than that. Yeah, yeah. So did you did you lower it when you originally had it or you just kind yeah, of? Yeah, I had okay. a dropped axle under the original nice. chassis. And let's uh, see if we could even show you guys. Let's see if the light lets us. So you guys could see. One of my buddies, Lou. Uh, he's got a 67 F100 and he did a Roadster Shop chassis. I think he's got a Gen 2. I met him. Oh. I've met him a and couple Lou's of times. And Lou's put almost over 50,000 miles yeah. on his chassis yeah. in two years. Yeah. They're great. Yeah, he goes from California and over to this side all the time. All the time. It blows yeah. my mind. Yeah. So yeah. this is this is how you bought it. So what was it? Uh, what does that even say? It's Cook Generator and Starter Service Company okay. in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, the man I bought it from in 2008, in 1957, he was moving from Louisville back to uh, Oneonta, Alabama. He said, I needed a truck to haul the engine back home with. He said, this truck was for sale and I bought it. And I bought it from him in 08. He never knew this was on it. Oh, really? Uh, he had started sanding a little bit. Uh huh. And then uh, that showed up when I pressure washed and knocked the paint off. That's cool. But I took it, the Street Rod Nationals in Louisville is two blocks from where this place was at. I really? took it over there. Oh, yeah, there. the address is still on there. I took it over there one year and, and, and done photos with it. Now the building's gone. Oh, man. But uh, I love how simple your interior is. Like yeah. everybody. Like, wouldn't even think that you have that motor and chassis if know. you didn't have those wheels on it. Yep. This truck would be such a sleeper. It's incredible. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, why, why did you choose to just go with such a basic interior? I just want it simple. And, uh, I mean, you have all the creature comforts. You got air conditioning, you got modern gauges. Yep. I'm assuming you have a hidden stereo. No, I don't have a stereo. Okay. Uh, it's under the hood. Yeah, you get to enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your stereo, though, at a three inch uh, exhaust. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's three inch it's stainless. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. But I'm going... good building it yourself, too. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I've built a lot of cars, mostly Mustangs and Shelbys and stuff like that. Okay. And, uh, auto body business I've been in for 40 years what made you want to get a uh, like really make this truck to this level because I mean this is basically as nice as you can make it I wanted to be able to get in it and if I wanted to drive to California 
I could. Don't got to think about With it. With the flathead, it was like you were uh, in a hornet's nest on the interstate. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is uh, that's his sticker. He gave it to me, and yeah. I took the two zeros off. Makes sense. <laughs> yep. Because it's not a 100, it's an F1. Man, I just, I love how simple this is. Yeah. Because sadly, like most people that don't know anything, they're just going to walk right by it. And those are the trucks that are my favorite at a yep. truck show yep. that everybody else doesn't pay attention to. And it's like, you're just silly. You don't know what this is. <laughs> well, I clean, I got this thing cleaned all under the bottom for the F100 show in Pigeon Forge in May. Waste the time. Nobody oh. ever looked under. Yeah, they didn't so, pay attention. Yeah. I love this. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Is this the kind of truck that's your style? All go, not a lot of show, but. Now, yeah, to really show you guys, I'm sure everybody is itching to see you under the hood. Yeah. The meat for the potatoes. It's where the magic came. That is awesome. Fits so nice in there. Yep. It looks like it's like a perfect fit. It's perfect. And I had a T5 uh -huh. out of S10 behind the flathead. And and I had a hole cut in the in the tunnel, trans tunnel. With this set up, I used the same exact hole, no the kidding. same boot, the same shifter stick. Dang. Worked perfect. What kind of headlights are you running? They're just seal beams. Okay. Yeah. Man, you yeah. know. You need to check out Holly Retro Brights. Have you seen them? Yeah, yeah. I put them pretty much in all my trucks because it looks like a sealed beam. It's got the same lines and yeah. everything. Yeah, that's what I like. But it operates like, like mm -hmm. a brand new light. Yeah. That, yeah. that would pretty much, I mean. Yeah, for not driving, that, 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 that's got to be great. Oh, it's so nice. These are like two candles, but. Yeah. You need to go on power tour with us this year. I'd like to. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's probably going to start in Bristol because usually it starts where it ended and it ended in Bristol. So that ain't too far for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. It's always on this side of the state. So it seems to be. So it'll be good. Well, I know every time we make one of these videos and we don't go for a ride or start it, everybody's like, man, you should have started it so we could hear it. We should go for a ride. And We've got a whole National Super Speedway. All right, we're gonna start it up for you guys. You guys can hear how good she sounds. And uh, you can see he's got the dual exhaust pipes right over here. This is such a cool truck. awesome all right guys so now we're cruising and uh man this thing just it feels like it's really it's on rails but it's basically what it is on and you were telling me you got new vintage gauges yep we got vintage air and then i didn't know that you said you had this you towed this all the way to alaska yep all the way to alaska so tell me that story that was a 13,000 mile trip wow we came back down the west coast Washington, Oregon, California, Grand Canyon, back across, all the way to Pigeon Forge. <laughs> but, That's awesome. Uh, yeah, but this is this is what I drive every day. Since you completed it in 2022, how many miles have you put on it? Uh, six thousand. Six thousand. Heck yeah. Man, this thing is so. Good. Going for a jog. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so smooth. That TKX runs good. Yeah. Oh, those pedals look great. Can you guys see that? There you go. So I think we're we're gonna wrap this up for you guys. Alright Mike, we know these guys are gonna want to hear how this thing sounds. Oh yeah. See, you're still technically a Mustang guy because it still sounds like a Mustang. That's right. There you go. Yep. This thing is so cool. All right, guys. So I think we're going to probably end this over here. So if you guys can, smash the like button. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Mike's a freaking stud. This car is so cool. Drop a comment below. Car? It's a truck. This truck is so cool. Drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.